So this is lesson six of our virtual reality game. And it's going to be a quick lesson. Hopefully everybody's progressing and getting comfortable with um, working in VR and doing some of the uh, commands and features. So in this time, um, lesson, we're going to learn to pick up um, some objects. So in this case, um, I've chosen one of my candles. And what you do is you um, click on the object and you're going to add component and you're going to add this to it. So XR Grab Interactable. The nice thing about it is that it um, adds a rigid body um, physics to your object. Whatever object you pick, it adds a rigid body to it. And therefore, you don't have to because we're going to need the physics to interact with it. Let me see if I have one on this one, too. I do. So I have it on both of my candles. So basically, that's all you have to do. Pick an object in your game and um, add component and XR interactable. And let's go through a couple basic things with the uh, XR simulator. Still a little bit confusing. I know it's not as good as a headset, but for those of us who don't have headsets, it will have to do. So I'm going to hold down um, Um, I was holding down my right mouse button and my scroll wheel and then just clicking along. And now I have a white ray, which can be a little confusing because a white ray is also um, our teleporting. But you know, you sort of combine that. So if I hit G, I just picked up that candle. Unfortunately, yeah, I think if we were to look around, we, there it is. There's the candle down there. Um, if I had a, a headset with a controller, I could pick that candle up and throw it, etc. But with a simulator, it seems to drop it. Um, yeah, so... And also, if I... bit so I'm now going to um, point at the table and teleport I found if I hold down sh uh, D and the spacebar I can zoom around my room move around it spin around it etc And you can see I'm going to teleport again and moving around. So it's going to take a little while for you to get comfortable moving around in this 3D space. There's another teleportation. And I'm thinking, gee. So I teleported over. 
Another thing you can do, and I think you have to be actually in the game. So let's try that. If you want to sort of look through your game, um, let's see if it'll work now. No, I think you actually have to go into the game a little bit and then hold down right mouse click and W or D S A. So holding down the right mouse button click, you can sort of run around your game. WASD. And sort of zoom around. If you have a headset, we're going to sort of cover a way to do this also. But it gives us a nice chance to move around and zoom in on some of our objects. So again, right mouse button click, hold it down, WASD, and you can zoom around. What I'm going to do with mine, is I'm going to um, put a plane underneath my uh, room here. And um, I'm then going to put some objects here so I can teleport. So put like a plane here and have my house set on it and then put some objects I can interact with around your game, around my game. So um, go ahead and either uh, start picking up some of these objects in the uh, scene you brought in, whatever scene it is, or go get some objects or just create some spheres and cubes so you can start moving around. And teleporting and picking things up again if you have a head a controller and a headset you'll be able to carry those around with you and maybe throw them maybe not so easy for us it just have the uh, xr simulator but we'll figure some stuff on there and we keep working let me know if you have any questions